bag. Ooh, blimey. Pumpkin puree soup. <laughs> I don't want it. Hi, this camera is very, very deceiving. It looks almost sunny in this room. Um, I have to tell you, miserable. Absolutely miserable day today. And today did not quite go to plan. So I had planned to jump sprightly out of bed this morning, say good morning to you guys, and start a video that I wanted to film today, which we're still gonna film. Um, that didn't happen. What happened was I woke up, I started editing my vlog from yesterday, and all of a sudden the day had got away from me. I hadn't eaten, I hadn't done anything, I hadn't sorted anything. It's currently three o'clock. We're gonna start the video now. So the video that I'd planned to do was 24 hours of eating only survival food, which I found online and from what I know, you just add water to it and it's miraculously a meal. So I bought a one day meal kit. There's five meals in there. I believe I've got like porridge and a, and a curry, I think. So I'm gonna start this video with the lunchtime option, then this evening have dinner, whatever dinner is, and then tomorrow morning film my breakfast. That's the plan. Um, aside from that, happy December 2nd or happy December 3rd, which is I think when you're watching this, if I can get this edited in time, turns out I take a lot longer to edit than I thought. Happy December 2nd, let's open some advent calendars. Advent calendar number one is my Amazon beauty advent calendar and day two is here. What are you? Ooh, and it's a 60 second wrinkle reducer. Day two is here. I can't get in there. <laughs> it's a meow. Advent calendar's opened. Let's go see what I'm having for lunch. So this is the box. It says on it, one step meal. And like I said, I believe you just add water. Also nervous as to whether I'm gonna be left hungry because I do actually eat quite a lot of food. I am a big eater, so I'm hoping there's enough like nutrition and energy and calories inside this stuff. We will see. Here we go. Okay, immediately the box is more filled than I thought. This is what I'm seeing. And on the top we have strawberry granola. I feel like you could just pack your own cereal on that one, but then you do have to add milk. Does this have milk in it? It has in it whole milk powder. So you can just add water, but you get milk. I'm so excited about this. Okay, next in the box we have apple crisp. I think this is pudding. Oh my gosh, I didn't even plan on having pudding for dinner, but I've got pudding and I'm so happy about it. It looks like kind of an apple crumble. It says on there apple crisp but it looks a little like apple crumble. So with this one, you can add hot water and leave it for five minutes, or you can add cold water and leave it for 10. I would definitely, definitely be adding hot water and having hot apple crumble. Oh my goodness. Oh, and on it, it's got the protein and the calories. So, wow, this granola is almost 500 calories for breakfast, 400 calories for dessert, amazing okay then i've got a tikka masala i have no idea what to expect from this it's a tikka masala in a bag <laughs> i honestly don't know what to expect from this okay so for this one you can add cold water that's so odd i guess if you have no kettle or anything you're gonna have to just do your best and have cold curry but if you've got hot water you put it in, you give it a stir, and you wait eight minutes. 444 calories. <gasps> and I've got a chicken wok. My goodness, I'm gonna eat really well today. This is what the chicken noodles should look like. I'm very, very intrigued to see how these come out because if you buy microwave meals, already they normally look a little bit different to the lovely photo on the packaging. These aren't even microwave meals sat in moisture. These are freeze-dried meals that you just add water to. I'm very intrigued. Although, thinking about it, that is kind of similar to um, a pot noodle. Final bag is a pumpkin puree soup. It looks delicious. It has 500 calories in it. I'm just so excited. So overall, given that they're all roughly four to 500, that's just over 2000 calories. That's a really good number of calories 
for a day's eating. So I should be satisfied. Like I said, I am a big eater, so I'm a little bit worried, but from the looks of it, I'm gonna be fine. I need to work out the order that I want to eat these in because I have lunch, dinner, and breakfast to think about. This is obviously my breakfast for tomorrow, but I have lunch for today and dinner for today. It is a very late lunch. I'd say these were both main meals. This was a starter and this was a dessert. So I'm thinking I might have this for dessert, for dinner with the tikka masala and then have this for a starter with the chicken wok and then have the strawberry granola for breakfast. That's my plan. Let's have some lunch. I'm gonna have some pumpkin puree soup. Do you want to look at my lovely food? Apple crisp. I got pudding. Oh. I got pudding. Tikka masala. Yes. <laughs> yes. Chicken oh, masala. come on. That's one meal. No, yeah, this one day is meal. a whole day. That's a day. This is 24 hours. That's luxurious. It's not bad, is That's it? Not bad, that. For a day's eating. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm nervous. What I will say is, how do you measure out 200 milliliters if you're in the middle of a forest? <gasps> I mean, it looks like, it looks just like a bag of flavoring. It smells lovely. It says remove oxygen absorber before adding water. This <laughs> looks <laughs> like a bag of flavoring. <laughs> that is apparently my lunch. Little bit nervous. Oh my goodness, these would be perfect if you're like moving house and you've packed up all of your kitchenware. This would be amazing. You know when you're moving house and then on the evening of the move you realise I don't have any food or anything to cook the food with or to clean up with? This is genius. Moment of truth. We're adding the water. I mean, it's, it's clumping up. I don't know how to show you this. It, it, it's clumping. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And then how long am I going to wait? Eight minutes. It should take roughly eight minutes. It looks really weird. This is a brilliant hand warmer. Now, while I was waiting the eight minutes, I fully read the back of the pack. And it's really interesting. They're basically saying that this is all very, very, very much homemade food. Um, and there's like no preservatives or anything. They've just freeze dried it. And because they freeze dried it, it doesn't need the preservatives. So it's super healthy and natural. Like the ingredients on here are basically what you'd use if you made this yourself. These are the ingredients for the pumpkin soup. And oh, stop. It does look like baby food. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a little bit nervous. So many thoughts. Firstly, texture is actually really, really smooth. Like really smooth. I wasn't expecting it at all. However, I think I might add just a teeny, teeny little bit more water, just so it's a little bit more soupy. But the texture, smooth. Taste-wise, I can't put my finger on it. It has a pumpkin soup homemade taste to it, but then there's this hint. I don't know how to explain it. A bit more. <gasps> oh no, I tipped in too much. Oh goodness, I'm just gonna tip that back out. Mmm, it's got cheese in it. I feel like when I've had pumpkin soup in the past, it hasn't had that cheesy flavor. I think that's what I'm tasting. I'm not 100% sure, but it's yummy. It's got an ever so slight, ever so slight little bit of spice to it. It looks like soup, tastes like pumpkin soup. Bon appetit. I don't think I can finish this. It is really yummy. It's just so rich and I genuinely struggle a little bit with rich food of just it's just too much <laughs> for my my little taste buds. Um, Nick's just had a little bit too and he agrees. It's very rich in flavor. I don't normally leave food. I was going to have the pumpkin soup uh, for a starter and then follow up with this. Turns out I'm already full for now. So we're gonna leave it there for now. And uh, when I get hungry next, this is what's next on the menu. It is a little bit later now. You can see all of my, this is my filming stuff, by the way. These are propped up on my chest of drawers. That's the extent to which my lighting goes to. Um, it is a little bit later now. It's 10 to five. So Nick should be done with work soon, which is good. I've just uploaded yesterday's vlog. I'm, let me know in the comments what time you prefer my vlogs being uploaded. I feel like normally I do it about six o'clock and then main channel used to be five now is maybe six let me know what time works best for you today i uploaded about half past four 
but I'm not too sure. Let me know what works. Um, I am still full from that pumpkin soup, which is madness. I normally snack so much. I'm gonna say that the protein is keeping me full. I'm not too sure, but I'm still full. My tummy is rumbling. So I am gonna go make myself some noodles and it should be a quick and easy little lunch slash dinner, or as I like to call it, de lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like breakfast, lunch, brunch, but dinner, lunch, the lunch. <laughs> I don't feel as excited to see how this goes because I do feel like it's kind of similar to a pot noodle. Ooh, blimey. It smells a little like rabbit food. <laughs> um, it looks less like a pot noodle than I was expecting it to. Try not to burn myself. The noodles are getting softer. Eight minutes, and, and now we're we starting wait. now. I'm really trying my best not to be fussy, especially because I feel like these meals are a kind of, not a last resort, but they could be a last resort. And I know if this was a last resort, I would scoff it down, but I just, I just, I'm not too sure about it. I just don't want to be ungrateful or rude. It's food and I'm starving, but this one doesn't smell too great. We're gonna try some. Mm. Ignore everything I said before. It tastes absolutely fine. It tastes almost a little bit like duck noodles. <laughs> this is wonderful. There are little lumps of what I assume is freeze dried chicken. This could be interesting. It definitely tastes more like duck. Is it chicken? Yeah, it's chicken. I'm very confused. This to me tastes a lot more like duck noodles than chicken noodles, but I'd put it up there with a good old pot noodle. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. I feel very much like I've had a snack. Um, I don't feel full at all. I feel like I'm ready for some more food. Okay, it is dinner time. Oh, while this is in the background, a lot of you have said to put the garland at the top of the rail, which to me doesn't make complete sense because I think I still want to use the handrail, but also the photo that I've seen that I like the most, it goes around the bottom. So I'm gonna try and make it look better around the bottom. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna follow your advice and put it around the top of the handrail. Nick is making himself a yummy burger which is gonna take about 25 minutes. I'm having a yummy chicken, chicken? I'm having a yummy chicken tikka masala. However, this should take eight minutes. I am actually really hungry, but at least I get this and a pudding. So that's good. Nick's making a burger. Rich. It smells so good. <laughs> Sorry there's so much noise, by the way. The washing machine's on, the kettle's on, things are happening, Nick's in the it's kitchen. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> they look like little chunks of dog food and they don't smell much better. You just pour hot water into that and it's done. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> Are you ready to have a little goosey gander? Bloop. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm just excited for my dessert. I mean. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, I mean, oh. What? Oh, it smells quite good. Oh, sorry, that. That's not that bad. Smells like a normal curry. That's not bad. It smells like quite a coconutty curry. And I blooming love coconut in a curry. You like a korma, don't you? I like a korma. This doesn't smell how I know a chicken tikka masala to smell, nor is it the same color. <laughs> this is quite a powerful red. This is yellow. This is my dinner. It's steaming, it's nice and hot. It smells like coconut, which I'm excited for. It looks cooked. <laughs> no good. I don't think I can eat this. Really? <laughs> There's loads of food, isn't there? No? Try a lump of that meat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to crunch. <laughs> I know I'm not eating that. I need to joke around. Did you eat one of them? <laughs> Nick, don't spit on my dinner! Oh, I forgot you were eating that. <laughs> I forgot 
are you finishing that? Man, I've got to eat this. this! I've got to eat this! That's horrible. The rice is alright. I just don't want to be mean though. But you've got to be honest. Like, li listen, not everyone's going to be a home run. <laughs> This is the worst it's, one. It's the meat, it's the, the, the rice is okay, the meat's It's terrible. still, the rice still isn't okay. The oh, rice yeah, is, it's better mm, than the meat. Though. The rice is cooked and it's a decent texture, but the flavor isn't great. It makes me think of the type of meal that people used to make at uni. Like they've tried, but they've never cooked before. The meat I've got no other choice but to eat this, I'm hungry. Look, hang on. This is what it's meant to look like, have they seen that? <laughs> show the bowl compared with that. That's what it's meant to be. I'm gonna try and show you this, uh, piece of chicken. You holding it? It's um... Look at, yeah. It'll say it's crunchy. solid. It definitely hasn't soaked up enough moisture. But I did put the correct amount in. And I did leave it for long enough. So this is going to be my pudding. It's apple crisp. It looks kind of like apple crumble. I've got really high hopes for this one. I feel like sweet things <laughs> are potentially just easier to resurrect from death. I was expecting apple crumble. <gasps> There's actual digestives in here. There you go. Ooh, that is yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Dinner time. I bloomin' love a digestive biscuit. Oh, I don't know how I feel about it being wet. Oh, the biscuit's gonna be all mushy. It smells really, really yummy. I get some yummy food. <laughs> I really don't want to be harsh on the other ones, but they were not great. But I feel like the pumpkin one was too rich, which some people like. Yeah. That was a, like really... that was very much a personal preference, but it was yummy. It was just very rich. The chicken noodles weren't bad. Tasted like a pot noodle. The curry wasn't great. Oh, is this American? Because it says digestive cookies, not digestive biscuits. Wait, is there a difference between British 200 milliliters and American 200 milliliters? That's a good because point, maybe actually. that's where I've gone wrong. Can't be. No. This is what it looks like. Huh? Oh, yummy. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna have a great time. And I'll catch up with you first thing in the morning to have my breakfast of strawberry granola. This will be my first cold one. All the other ones have used hot water. This one requires cold water, so that's a little interesting. But I'll catch up with you in the morning. Final survival packet. This is strawberry granola. It's my breakfast. I'm actually really excited about it. For this one, I'm just gonna pour it into the bowl, add the water, mix it in the bowl, and then set the timer. And this time, it's only a time of three minutes, which isn't too long at all to wait for my breakfast. This looks like pretty yummy breakfast cereal to me. It's just got a kind of white cast, which I'm assuming is the milk powder. It's a little bit more milk than I'd put with my cereal, but I know that that's a normal amount of milk. I know that Nick has about that much milk. The milk has gone a nice pinky white color, and we're gonna eat some of this. And I'm not gonna show my face because it is first thing in the morning and I look ridiculous. Mmm, this is probably the best one and the one that most resembles non-freeze dried food. This is pretty much exactly the same as granola that you buy from the shop with milk added to it. Tastes delicious. And I'm gonna end this video here eat my breakfast and I'll see you later. Bye!